What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Slavery B. Today, I'm giving you guys my first Brilliant Stars deck profile today, and that is Venusaur Arceus. It's an interesting kind of deck that I've kind of thought of. Um, taking some inspiration from a Rapid Strike Rillaboom Arceus deck that I saw from a Japan list. Um, I took that kind of core structure and built some built a deck around Venusaur instead of the Rillaboom. So let's go ahead and take a look. But before we do, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Leave a comment down below telling me what's your favorite card in Brilliant Stars to come out. Um, are you what are you excited to build with when Brilliant Stars come out in a couple weeks? So now let's get straight into the deck profile, starting with obviously the star, um, or the semi-star, the co-star I would like to call it is Venusaur VMAX. It's a grass type. 330 hp and we're mainly gonna be trying to attack with four storm doing it which does 30 damage for each grass energy attached to all your pokemon on the bench this can hit some insane numbers and honestly the fact that we can attack with arceus and accelerate more energy and also do some chip damage means that we don't need to necessarily have a ton of energy out to be doing a decent amount of damage and taking ko's with four storm as a backup attack, G-Max Bloom is also fairly decent doing 210 damage and healing 30 damage from this Pokemon. And we're also going to be running the Promo Venusaur V with 220 HP, two attacks for Grass and Colors, Leaf Drain doing 50 and healing da 30 damage. Also Double Edge, 190 damage. I decided to go with this because the other Venusaur had a heftier attack cost. And with this, we can essentially do the same damage attaching a choice belt to it and we can do basically the same amount of damage for one less energy with a with this venusaur so i decided to go with this because in a pinch attacking with double edge is a lot better than attacking with another attacker that costs four energy On top of that we're playing a 3-3 arceus v star line arceus v star obviously good with its trinity nova doing 200 and 200 damage and searching our deck for up to three basic energies and attaching to our Pokemon B. One of the one of the way, main ways we get a lot of grass energy onto our board. Um, but the main thing that gets this deck going is its V-Star power in Star Birth, allowing us to once per game, search our deck for any two cards and put them in our hand. With this, we can go ahead and search out Rare Candy. If we need to evolve our Grokey into Rillaboom, we can search out Basically anything we need to get our board state set up from a couple games that I've had with this deck You use that star birth ability very easily very early in the game to get your Pokemon out and set up and ready to go But the Arceus V is also a very good base Starter with this Trinity charge attack with a double turbo energy can we can go ahead and search three basic energies and attachments for Pokemon V so even going second starting an Arceus V is pretty good and also power edge not a great attack doing 130 damage 110 after double turbo energy but still attack a, a easy enough attack to use in a pinch and for our for, for further energy acceleration we're going to be using leafeon v leafeon v is great for those turns that we may not be able to do something or where we go first um, going first, we can bench a Leafeon and we can go ahead and use greening cells and accelerate one grass energy and end our turn, basically allowing us to get two energies on the board fairly quickly. And we're also going to be playing a 2-2-2-0-2 two, 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 two line of Rillaboom with its ability Voltage B, allowing us to attach two grass energies to one of our Pokemon every single turn. Um, and we can stack, so if we have two Rillaboom set up, which is very um, rare for that to happen, we can get four energies on board, um, basically getting our Venusaur up 120 damage with that four storm. And we're going to be playing two rare candies to get that Rillaboom set up fairly quickly. Onto our support mons, we're playing a Crobat V for that Dark Assist draw and Luminion V as well for that Lumia sign lungs to search for our supporters. This works well in combination um, early games. Let's say we're having trouble with finding our double Torbo energy. We can go ahead and use the mini on V to search for our one of peers and then get double Torbo energy and still get Crobat for turn to draw additional cards for the turn. So that's one combo we can do with the mini on V. <clears throat> on top of that, we can also use the mini on V to get bosses orders for the game. Um, we also play 
a one of Manaphy with Water Veil, <clears throat> preventing damage done to our bench Pokemon from our opponent's attack. This is mainly to protect our Rillabooms on the bench if we have them in those certain matchups such as Jolteon or even uh, Rapid Rapid Strike Urshifu. Onto our supporter line, we're playing four research just to have that heavy draw, and then we're gonna have two Marnie again, mainly for that draw with some um, disruption as well as boss's orders being able to boss up our opponent and control their board a little bit. As stated before, Piers allows us to grab our double Tobro energy as well as Crobat to, so that we can still draw cards with Piers, even, even after using Piers for our supporter for turn. For our Pokemon search, we're gonna be playing four quick balls and four ultra balls as well as two evolution instances allowing us to search for basically whatever we need with this combination of cards um as stated before we're playing two rare candy to get the rillabooms up and we're also going to be playing two choice belts attaching a choice belt to a venusaur essentially is like attaching an en extra energy for a turn doing an additional 30 more damage to our opponent's active pokemon v so this can also cancel out things like to double Torbro energy, allowing our Arceus to hit for 210 um, with a double Torbro energy attached. So not a bad card overall um, in general. And Rillaboom also can become a decent attacker doing 140, 170 with Twist Band. So not bad math there with the Rillaboom as well. Um, we also play uh, for mobility we play to a switch and an air balloon we don't really do a lot of switching in the deck and honestly we only need to have one arceus as a pivot we can have several arceuses out on the field making it harder to take a ko on this arceus v star um we want to recover a lot of energy because we want to keep our energy on board so that venusaur v max can do a lot more damage and we can also accelerate that with arceus leafeon and rillaboom from the deck so we play one ordinary rod this allows us to also even bring back pokemon if we need to as well as energy recycle recycler shuffling five basic energies from our discard i found that fairly quickly um let's say they take out an arceus that's tip if i was able to get three grass energies on the arceus um energy recycler is a decent card to get those energies back on top of that we're also playing two turf field a stadium allowing us to search for our grass type evolutions in Rillaboom and Venusaur VMAX. Also playing as a stadium bump in case we run into some kind of path decks and we can't use like Leafeon or our Star Birth ability from Arceus. On top of that, we're also going to be playing one training court allowing us to again just have that additional recovery every turn. Just ensuring that we have our basic energy attachment each turn and getting more grass energy into play. So that our Venusaur VMAX can do maximum damage possible. On top of that, we're gonna be playing 10 grass energy. Um, I felt 10 grass energy was enough to set up all of our attackers and do some decent damage with Venusaur VMAX and also double Torbro energy. Double Torbro energy works very well, actually, it works very well in the deck, being able to power up our Arceus V Star fairly quickly as well as our leafeon v leafeon v with that double colorless energy um for single prize decks can become a decent attacker actually so you can just rillaboom one energy onto it and then double torbo attack for 90 plus damage uh, attack for 70 plus damage and possibly taking out some single prizes such as mad party with that attack um and also we can even again like i stated before we can charge of four storm with double tobro energy we do take a minus 20 reduction but it also keeps our grass energy safe um in case they do take an unexpected ko on our venus or v max as well as being able to quickly power up that g max bloom if we need to um so that is the deck profile now we're gonna go ahead and go and show you guys um turn one board states for going first and going second let's get straight into that part of the video all right guys, so this is the ideal board state that you want to have going first with this deck. First off, you want to have an Arceus V out in the active um, just to have it ready to be able to attack and stuff like that. Um, on your bench, you want to be having a Grokey, again, getting that ready to evolve uh, fairly quickly. You also want to have a Leafeon on turn one, so that way you can use that greening cells to end your turn and accelerate an extra energy onto the board. 
because you're not going to be attacking so you might as well use that greening cells to get another energy on board and you also want to have an extra arceus just to have a backup in case the arceus active gets knocked out personally i would try and get basic grass energies attached to both instead of wasting your double turbo energies just in case so that is the ideal state but if you want you could have a double turbo energy attached but i would keep it i would put it on the arceus on the bench just because the double turbo energy is safer on the bench um this forces your opponent to have a boss and a bunch of extra cards that they might not even be able to take the ko on that arceus v star on the bench and then what i would do is at the end of the turn i would greening cells to the arceus in the active um one more card that you could have on your bench but it's not necessary is you could have a venusaur v set up on the bench ready to evolve next turn but since the plan is to attack with an arceus v star next turn with trinity nova you don't necessarily need to have the venusaur just yet you can put it on next turn um just again that's a card that you possibly want to just inspect the board say and see what could possibly happen because you don't want your opponent gusting up that venusaur as well and trapping the venusaur in the act of possibly because that has a hefty retreat cost of three so again and analyze the board state and see what your possibility is and see if that venusaur is a liability or not okay so with this deck the ideal turn one board state going second is as follows you want to have an arceus in the active as always and you also want to have a Groki, a backup Arceus, and I think what you want to try and go for is double Venusaur. Uh, double Venusaur here gives you um, a lot of via, a lot of flexibility with what you can do next turn. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to attach, try and get a, a tor double Torbo energy onto Arceus by any means necessary. That way you can use that Ar Trinity charge since you're going second, you can attack you can go ahead and use trinity charge and then what you want to do is you want to accelerate your grass energy onto your arceus and both of your venusaurs you want to accelerate one grass energy each onto each of them uh, doing this gives you the most flexible board state for next turn in case anything happens because that way you have four attackers that can go at any moment and attack next turn um let's say your arceus goes down you still have your arceus that can go ahead and attack just by attaching a double uh, turbo energy or a rillaboom acceleration if you can get the rillaboom out and same thing with the venusaurs if they decide to gust up one of your venusaurs you still have a ton of attackers and mobility going around on the board that it'll be rough for your opponent to kind of just kill your board state there so that is the ideal board state you possibly want to go for by the end of your turn one going second all right guys that is it for this deck profile video of the deck that i like to call godzilla uh featuring venusaur and arceus um i hope you guys enjoyed that video feel free to like comment and subscribe down below if you want to see some more ptcg content arceus is a great and fun card so expect to see a lot more arceus type kind of builds coming from the channel um i hope you guys have a good day and peace